Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick kind of bullet point review of how to create a sarcophagus on the Glorly Testnet Sarcophagus D app. So first you're going to go to app.dev.sarcophagus.io and that'll bring you to this connect wallet screen. So you want to make sure your wallet is on Glorly, then just hit connect wallet. It'll give you some different options of which type of wallet to connect to. I'm going to use my MetaMask, and then once you connect, that'll bring you to the Tomb dashboard, which here you can see I've already done some wraps, and I made sure I had a good uh, selection of them here so you can see what the different tags are. Resurrected means it's been completed and released to the recipient address. Active means it is currently awaiting resurrection still, and buried means essentially that it's been canceled and it'll never be released. It'll just remain encrypted, buried on chain. All right, so this is your basic tomb dashboard. If you have any sarcophagi that somebody else wrapped with you as the recipient, any of those that you're the recipient of show up here in the claim sarcophagi dashboard. And you'll be able to see uh, when they're available for unwrap as well from here. So with that, uh, first I'm gonna go up here to the plus, which is create a new sarcophagus. And I'm just gonna give it a quick name. Johnny testing demo. I'm gonna go ahead and just select one month for the purposes of this, then hit next. Then it's gonna ask you to upload your file. I'm just gonna grab a picture here. Uh, it was originally 200 megabytes was the limit. That limit's been extended, but for testnet purposes, 200 megabytes is probably a good soft limit um, just for you know uh, data communication and everything purposes with the app. All right, and then next you're going to get to this fund bundler account. So what this is is just paying a little bit of gas ahead of time into uh, the node so that you can pay the gas to upload your data, your sarcophagus to Arweave using Bundler. So this process is really simple. You just connect by signing and then it opens up your account. Now I already have some ETH, some GETH that I have put into the account for gas, but if you don't have any, then you just need to, you know, deposit however much you want, hit add funds, and then it just asks you to confirm the transaction. It'll confirm it and then that transaction will go through now the only kicker with this is funding the bundler account initially it can take 30 minutes sometimes even longer because it is a testnet bundler node so it takes a little bit for everything to go through on their side being on their testnet on mainnet this shouldn't be an issue it should be much faster um, because just the service speed there is a lot quicker so since I already have mine funded, I don't need to wait. I'll just go to the next screen. Now it's gonna ask you how you want to uh, set the recipient for the data. You can uh, use their wallet address and if they have previously signed a key on chain, uh, signed any transaction on chain, it can source their public key from that. Um, if you have their public key already, you can use that or you can generate an entire new wallet key pair, private, pi private and public key pair, that you can send to the recipient kind of like a, a, a little step-by-step -step thing that says here's your key you know to this information and uh, gives them kind of the precursor to that I'm gonna go ahead and just use wallet address and for the purposes of this I'm just gonna use my own address but you can use any recipient address that you like that you want to you know receive the data if you have another wallet you want to send it to uh, for testing purposes you can do that uh, sometimes, because this is a Gorly API on Etherscan that sources this information, this public key, uh, sometimes there can be a delay there. So if you get an error pop up right here, just click it again and it'll go through. That's just a delay in the testnet API on Etherscan. All right, so I have my wallet key here. Now all I have to do is hit next. Now it's going to ask me how many archaeologists I want to uh, curse with guarding this sarcophagi and awaiting the dead man switch trigger to unwrap it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of at random pick, oh, I'm gonna go to like the last page here, pick a couple more. All right, so I've got five here now that I went through and selected. Um, actually, I wanna take you back just for a second here. You can see how much the fee is for the service period for each one that you selected. 
Um, this calculates based on a monthly amount. Like if they set it at you know, one per month, then and you at, do a one month selection of how long you want to employ them, then this calculates those two factors and gives you what your fee is for your current uh, wrapped sarcophagi. So you can see some of them have it, you know, set closer to five a month, some are close to one a month. I picked a month. All right, so now we're going to go next. Now I have five. I'm going to go ahead and require four out of the five to be present to unwrap the data for the recipient to be able to access it. And then it's going to bring you to this final screen, which just lets you know all of the little details of everything. How many archaeologists you got, how many are required, what your total digging fee is for this sarcophagus here. As I can see, it's 15.62 Sarco because I did five and then it uh, adds all their fees together for the one month period. Shows you what the protocol fee is. Uh, on mainnet, this will go into the DAO. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create this sarcophagus and it'll ask you to sign a couple of transactions to get it to go through. So first it's connecting to the archaeologists then it's getting their signatures. Then it will upload the data to Rweave through Bundler. So sign that request no gas on that specific request and then here's the final transaction just go ahead and confirm it and that will finish it there's also the option to cancel it before it goes through which my understanding is if you're trying to cancel a transaction which is what that would be doing you send another transaction with a higher gas payment so it's processed first using the same nonce so it in essence replaces the previous transaction so now we're just going to go to the dashboard and there it is johnny testing demo and while you're on this dashboard if you want you can now select to rewrap your sarcophagus which will allow you to send a transaction through the contract uh, selecting a different date it can be sooner or further away than your original date the only requirements is that the arches uh, max res time and rewrap times are still uh, met, which this one says you can go as far out as a year based on the arches that we selected for the job. One other option, go back here, is that if you go to details, there is an option to bury it as well, which as I mentioned earlier, just leaves the sarcophagus encrypted permanently on chain so it can't be accessed and it won't ever be unwrapped by the archaeologist because it releases them of the contract and releases their bond. So at that point, they no longer will be watching it anymore. So I'm going to go back to the main page. All right, now I hope this was helpful for you to be able to get out there and test the app, your, the D app yourself. So thanks for watching this and happy testing.